Hey guys, Cell here, and welcome back to some more Nikkei. Now, I'm gonna go do Anis's Bond. I'm going to do it. If there's anything that seems like it might be a spoiler, I won't show it till, you know, after we've already done the event. But I don't think there will be. I mean, last time I thought Nero's was technically a spoiler, kind of. C only because, you know, I heard that the event was depressing. So I figured what happened in her bond, well, what she mentioned in her bond was what was happening in the event. That's why I didn't show it. I could have showed it. It would have been fine. So the same thing might happen with Anis. I mean, if we're just hanging out on the beach, it's not technically a spoiler for what could happen. I hope. Either way, let's go do it, huh? Now, if only this was fully voiced, right? You know, seeing as how this is a voiced event. Having her be fully voiced would be fantastic. The cold breeze carries the salty smell of the sea. Small waves gently lap at the shore. I feel relaxed and at peace. Come day. Commander. Commander. Adis? You're finally awake. Come on, where the sea? How come you're passed out on the beach? I was just taking in the ocean views. I didn't have anything better to do. But you're not looking at anything. You were sleeping. Yes, but I was looking at it, then I fell asleep. Now I'm looking at something way better. The way I see it, you're here because no one is spending time with you. Fine then, so be it. Isn't that sad at that point that no one's been spending time with me? How many are here at this point? I know the old crew is already here. That's already a given, seeing as how we get Rita some outfit, so obviously she has to be in the event, right? Fine, so be it. I was going to go alone, but I guess I need to take you as well. Where? You'll find out when we get there. Anis grabs my hand and pulls me upright. Let's go. After some walking, Anis and I arrive at. There you are. Hey, hey. All that intrigue just for a visit to Rita. Also, why is she in her regular outfit here, but not her swimsuit? Kind of doesn't match at this point. No, this isn't our final destination. We just need something before we can go. Rita, how about the thing I asked? It's all finished. The Rita hands over something wrapped in cloth over to Anis. But what on earth do you need something like this for? You're not up to any shenanigans, are you? Nah, I've, I've got the perfect use for this. Anyway, thanks for making it for me. We'll be off. If anyone asks for the commander or me, tell them we're nearby and not to worry. Hmm. Alright, be careful. Don't let her lead you by the nose, Greenhorn. Okay, I, I, I won't. So she leads something else that ain't my fault, right? I follow Anis and we walk for what seems like a quite a while. We only stop when we arrive at the bottom of a jagged, rocky cliff. Ta-da! Beach eyes on that. I look around but don't see anything particularly noteworthy. The only thing that stands out is a gaping hole that is partially hidden by a triangle of eyes. Is this the entrance to a cave? You betcha behind it is. The opening is big enough for three people to standing abreast to fit through. A mysterious cave where adventure awaits. Where enormous mineral veins and stashes of legendary treasures are hidden. How did you discover this? I stumbled upon it when I was out on a walk. 
It's not that visible thanks to all these vines in the overgrowth. Everyone else didn't notice it, so I wanted to be first to stake my claim to it. Isn't this a bit dangerous? You're not scared, are you? You think the big bad wolf is gonna pop out and eat you? No, but I mean, something possibly could. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Fine, then what about the light? Won't it be too dark in there? Beyond the opening, there is nothing but pitch blackness. I shudder to imagine what's at the end of the cave. Is that what Anis had Rita make a flashlight? Speak of the devil. Why is he when I ask Rita to make? Anis pulled out what, what Rita had given her earlier and unwrapped the cloth. Underneath, there is a small portable flashlight. I came well prepared. Jesus. See how bright that is? Is this the world's brightest flashlight? Too bright. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to shine it in your face. At any rate, this is just a cave on a small island. I doubt there is much in there. And even if there is something dangerous lurking inside, I'll protect you. Yes, but what if the thing that's gonna be dangerous inside is you? How about it? You in or are you out? If I don't go, I assume you'll still go in by yourself. Naturally. I would be a bit upset with you though. The cold air stream emanating from inside the cave is unnerving, but... Just imagine if we actually stumbled upon some hidden treasure. Seeing the excitement brimming on Anis's face. I inexplicably don't feel so perturbed. Fine, let's go. That's the spirit. Treasure, here we come. Dang, it's really dark in here. Oh, this reminds me of a certain place. If I recall correctly, it was very hot. What happened towards the end of this place? Dang, it's really dark in here. In cold. How are you holding up, Commander? I'm fine. Hmm. There's not really that much in here. Don't these places typically? Duh. <laughs> Caught me off guard there. Something just blazed past us. Sounded like a mouse. What the heck was it? A bat, maybe? You think so? Ah, oh, that's a shame. I should have taken a closer look. But something. Ani's edges closer and wraps her arms around me. Sorry. It just caught me. It just caught me by surprise. That's all. Figures I make fun of you for being a scaredy cat, but I'm the one losing my cool. Should we keep going? We continue forward for a couple minutes. Huh? I guess this is the end. The path ends here. All I can see with the flashlight is an enclosed space. Guess my fears have been proven right. There's nothing here. Well, still. It was still fun since it was the first time going on an adventure with you. I had fun too. I guess we should head back. Um. Anis, did you just step on something? That made a clicking noise? As soon as Anis turns around and takes a step, there is a sharp clicking sound followed by something operating. Huh? I think I just stepped on something. At that moment, you know, if this was Crash Bandicoot, a boulder would drop right down here, and then we'd have to run in the opposite direction. Oh boy. Is it caving in? A massive boulder topples from above. Dude, I was just referencing freaking Crash Bandicoot. 
No way! Really? We're actually getting... Oh my god. We're actually going to get crushed by a boulder if we don't run into the opposite direction quickly and find some way to get out. What the? Run, Commander. I'll stop it. Honey's positions herself to stave off the colossal boulder. If I let her go through with this, she'll get hurt. As I frantically look around, I glimpse at a small opening just big enough for two people. Yeah, squeeze ourselves in there. Anis, over here. Huh? I grab Anis' arm and we leap towards the gap together. Oh, a tight fit. I can't believe a boulder's actually showing up, man. This ain't Crash Bandicoot. This also isn't Indiana Jones e either. The boulder tumbles towards the entrance, crashes into something, and then stops. Anis, are you okay? I'm fine, but aren't we trapped in here now that the boulder is blocking the only way to get out? Thanks to you. That's a relief. Also, so Rita's technically the only one that knows where we went, right? So I guess we're gonna need a rescue squad, so we're here all alone. Unless we can find another way out. So, uh... That boulder seems to have come to a stop. Think we can go out? Sure. <gasps> I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. The gap wasn't that narrow. It's got nothing to do with the gap. Yeah, yeah, she was gonna suffocate from something else. It's because your face was right up next to mine. Anyway, that must have been a trap, huh? No, Anis, that was a welcoming party. Yes, it was a trap. And it certainly seems that it was designed that way intentionally. Something's fishy about this place. Is it just me, or has it gotten darker in here than before? It's now pitch black in the cave, and I can barely make out Anis who is standing inches in front of me. That boulder must be blocking the light that was coming through the entrance. You don't think the entrance is completely blocked, do you? Huh, wait. Where'd my flashlight go? Oh no. I must have dropped it when you yanked me in here. I guess it turned off when it hit the ground. Yes, and if you dropped it on the ground, then it most likely got crushed by the boulder, which means we're getting complete darkness. We were so startled by the runaway boulder that we only just now realized the flashlight has turned off. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander, for getting you mixed up in this. I'll try looking for the flashlight. It must be nearby. Although I can't see very well, I can vaguely make out Donnie scrubbing around the floor in search of the flashlight. Can you see it here? Of course, we need games have top tier night vision. There it is. Oh boy. It got pulverized by that boulder. Called it. Uh oh. <laughs> what should we do? Think we should check out the entrance. Slowly but surely, my eyes are beginning to adjust to the dark. There is a faint crack of light leaking out from the gap that we were hiding in. Annie's over there. What? There's light coming from there. What? Where? No kidding. Could it be an exit? Hard to say. Only one way to find out. It could be dangerous. It might be another trap. Hmm. Alright, I'll go first. You stand right behind me and follow. Got it. Aren't you coming? Don't ask me that question. Anis, don't ask me that question in this situation where you're telling me to follow you behind you very closely. Do not ask me that question. <laughs> it's too dark in here. I wave my arms in front of me looking for Anis. Yes, she's turned around looking straight at us. We can't really fully see her. 
And wouldn't you know it, we're gonna hit something good. Pat. There you are. Commander, where are you touching? <laughs> uh, Anis? Um, never mind. Not bringing it up, huh? Hey, at least she knows that it's dark and I can't see as well as she can. So she's not gonna blame me for it? Let's just hold hands. I mean, that works too. I think that'll be safer for the both of us. Okay. Hold on tight. Here we go. The two of us walk hand in hand, heading towards the gap where the faint glimmer of light is. What is this? Upon further inspection of the gap where the light is emanating, there is a small wooden door barely big enough for one person to squeeze through. Light leaks through the crack of the door. I'm going in. The dimly lit interior is very simple. Ah yes, it looks just like certain other scenes. Isn't this also the room where Crow, Viper, and Jackal were talking to us before in, uh... Which chapter was it? 14, 15? Around there? It looks very similar to it. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Containing only a worn down bed, sofa table, and other bits of furniture. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, indicating how much time has passed since it was inhabited. How is electricity being supplied here? Maybe it went back online after electricity to the island was reconnected. Talk about being built to last. Anis flicks an old light bulb as she walks past. What's this? It's in a journal. <coughs> Boy, that's a lot of dust. Anis wipes off the dust that's collected on the cover, then opens the journal and begins to read. I should look around as well. Look on top of the table. On top of the table is a picture frame containing what appears to be a family photo. After wiping off the obscuring layer of dust, I can see that it's a photo of a family standing on the beach. One of them is holding a surfboard. The all-too-familiar background clearly belongs to this very island. Someone was living on this island. They must have made this cave as a shelter to hide from the raptures. That would explain that rather ingenious trap as well. You want to take a gander at this journal? Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, we gotta get all the information of this place, right? I take the journal from Anis and gingerly open it. The weather was so... Uh, the weather was nice, so I went outside secretly. Of course, I could have stormed out with all the bluster I wanted and no one would have known. This island is safe. And quiet, almost painfully so. There are no grotesque monsters or other people sharing this island with me. But I'd give to share cold beer with someone. They wouldn't even have to drink it. Clinking glasses with another living being would be enough. The sunset here is prettier than, I, than the sunrise. I think tomorrow I'll go to the hotel and watch the sunset. Maybe I'll do a toast for one. Are you trying to dissuade you? You don't look so hot. Anis lifts up her hands and presses her fingers against the corners of my mouth, lifting them up. Oh? What are you doing? Turning that frown upside down. The person who lived here seemed to have a positive outlook on things. They managed to make that trap by themselves and they stored beer and saved it for special occasions. They made the most of a bad situation. So it'd be better for you to smile than frown. I also extend my hands and do the same to Anis. Huh? You're frowning as well. Oh, really? Well, it's not like I can be a bale of laughs in a situation like this. 
So let's both act naturally and act as it were truly feeling. As we're truly feeling, huh? Alright. When you put it like that, I can't help but feel a bit more chipper. Seeing Ani slid out a soft giggle, I can't help but do the same. I can't sit here feeling sorry for this person. I glance around, taking in the remnants left behind by someone whose name I'll never know. In one of the walls, I notice a faint crack. Anis, look. What? Is this a door? It was obscured by the bed. And it only makes sense that if the trap blocked off the front entrance, then there'd be another exit. Nicely done, Commander. Anis gives me a slap on the back. Now we can blow this joint. I'll leave the honor of opening the door to you. I grab onto the handle, my heart's racing. What if a skeleton falls out of there? Here we go. Alright. Stuck. No matter how hard I pull, the door doesn't budge. You can't even open a door. You gotta hit the gym commander. Alright, sit back and watch how it's done. Look. You show, show me how it's done. It's gonna be really helpful. You're Nikkei. You have way more strength than I do. Ani scripts the handle and pulls. Huh. Weird. Oh, would you look at that? Even a Nikkei can't open the door. Eh, <laughs> must be rested from all these years. Huh. Did you just break the door's handle off? Uh oh. The handle flies off the door and lands on the floor. Gee, Anis, good job. That's not good. Oh. Today just isn't my day. Now, what do we do? It pains me to say this, but I don't think we have a choice. We should contact the others. Did you bring your phone? Yes. I take out my phone. But are we getting no signal? What's wrong? There's no reception. You're kidding. Then again, we are in a cave. I left mine at the village since I had to charge it. Let's not panic. I'll go check out the entrance. You stay here. Wouldn't it be better if I came with you? Are you sure about that? It's pitch black out there. And there could be more traps. All the more reasons for you not to go alone. Me staying here alone could be even more dangerous. What kind of logic is that? If you can't stand being away from me. Just admit it. Here. Annie's off is her head. Don't let go or else it'll be too dark for us to find each other. Okay. I grip tightly onto Anis' head. Again, darkness falls. It's kinda tricky not being able to see anything. How long have we been in this cave? It probably hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been hours. Ani seems particularly chatty all of a sudden. You're not scared, are you? What? What are you blabbering about? How can I be scared of a dinky old cave like this? Yes, but what if a ghost just decides to pop up out of nowhere and whisper into your ear? I'm just a little nervous, that's all. If we come face to face with another boulder like before, you'd be in danger. Is that the only reason? I gently squeeze Hanis' hand tighter. What was that supposed to mean? Don't worry, I'm right here beside you. <laughs> you certainly know when to pull the moves, Commander. Yeah, totally. Thanks. I don't feel quite as tense anymore. Ani slowly releases my hand, then casually links her arm in mine. Oh my. 
She's getting redder. You seem pretty spooked when that bat flew by us. Now it's my turn to see that I'm here and you don't have to worry. Anis' words are highly reassuring. While linking arms, I hold Anis' hand. It seems like the right thing to do. The two of us slowly make our way towards the entrance, talking to keep ourselves preoccupied. Huh, it is, it's as I thought. The boulder is blocking the entrance. They are the tiniest of gaps, but not nearly big enough for us to squeeze through. How did that person even manage to get this thing in here? They must have been strong as all get out. Maybe if we stay in here and yell, someone passing by will hear us. Let's go back to that room and regroup. There must be another way to open that other door. So long as you're here, I feel confident. Let's head back. Now, let's think of other ways to open this door. You know how strong I am. It doesn't make any sense that I can't open an ordinary metal door. I head over to the door and give it another push. Maybe it's locked. Locked? Right. Considering the fact it isn't even budging, I see you're onto something. But there isn't a keyhole or any kind of lock on it. Could there be a button somewhere that unlocks it? Let's look for it. Sounds like a plan. Despite our initial enthusiasm, a diligent search turns up nothing. I even checked out outside and couldn't find anything. But these kinds of things usually behind picture frames are inside a drawer. Let's face it, there was never a button to begin with. Huh. A significant amount of time seems to have passed and I'm starting to feel exhausted. I give the bed a light dusting and sit on the edge of the mattress. Here you're really sitting on that nasty dust-covered bed. I can't stand any longer, I need to sit. Even then, still. I thought you were opposed to sitting on this thing. If you don't mind, then I don't either. I lightly brush through Anis' hair to get the excess dust off. And this rage, you're gonna turn me into one giant mothball. <laughs> Anis returns the favor, dusting off my hair. We got no problem becoming one big lump of dust. But we can't let that happen to you. Why? You are far too majestic to be covered in dust. Oh my, I'm in. I'm majestic? Dang. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I grab a hold of Anis' wrist and lay down on the bed, bringing her down with me. Okay, look, I'm all for laying down with the Anis on a bed, but this one? Really? <coughs> what are you doing? Anis tosses top, half rest on the bed, her arms supporting her. I'm lying between her and the bed. It feels as if she's lying on top of me. Hell yeah. Eh. What's gotten into you? You're really asking for it. Ani inches closer, her face closer to mine. What? Ani inches her face closer to mine. I stare directly at her. Commander, I. Oh, are we gonna get cucked? Come on, we were so close. And suddenly. Huh? Wait, I think I discovered something. Commander, move. Anis aggressively pushes me to the side and lifts up a couple of the dolls that are strewn on the bed. I knew it. Underneath one of the dolls is a small button. You don't think it's a self-destruct button or anything, do you? <laughs> Who cares? Let him blow. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think so. Oh, Ethan, I'll trust you. Yeah. Hey, there we go. The door, the door unlocked. We can finally get out of here. But what about my sweet, sweet time with you? Come on, that, that, that is so not right. We were so close and then all of a sudden she stopped it herself. No. Curse that realization of Ani's is. Why'd she have to notice the dolls? I'm positive of that sound with the door unlocking. Let's get the heck out of here. Hanis gives me her hand, and I take it without a moment's hesitation. We just pray this door doesn't lead to more shelters or warehouses or something like them. Even if it does, it doesn't matter. We'll find a way out together. <laughs> You're right about that. There's no point in worrying about stuff like this when you are found, Commander. Alright, I'm opening it. Please be outside. The previously unbudging metal door starts to move. As it opens, a blinding light pours in. Ugh. Oh, my eyes. Around the time, my eyes are adjusting to the light. I feel myself being yanked forward. Commander, look at this. A cool breeze runs through our hair. On the horizon, an auburn set sunset as it can be seen. Wow. Here we are. We must be in front of the hotel right now. We caught the sunset at just the right time too. The path beyond the door leads to a small hill next to the hotel. The entire panorama is taken up by the sea and sky without a single building or tree to obscure the view. Next to us, there's a dilapidated table and a chair. An old beer can. This has to be the place they were describing in the journal. They must have drank a beer while taking in the sunset. Do you see that? On top of the table is an unopened can of beer. I guess they were waiting for someone to share it with. How long they must have waited. Ani sits at the table across from where the can is placed. How about it, Commander? Should we have a drink? Sure. I plop down in the seat close to where the can is placed. You can have the beer. This soda I brought with me will do me just fine. I can't imagine how long they must have waited for someone else to join them and sit in that seat. Having said that, don't actually drink it. We don't know how old it is. Good call. I crack open the can. Whoa. Huh. Talk about an explosive entrance. As soon as I break the seal, beer suds burst out from the can. Cheers. Delicious. Mmm, delicious. Wait, did you actually drink it? Nope, just pretending. Man, you scared the bejesus out of me. I'm on cloud nine right now. We found it after all. Found what? I told you at the start before we entered the cave. Hidden treasure. In the end, though, we found a different type of treasure. Thanks for coming with me, Commander. This is a day I won't be forgetting anytime soon. Me neither. The person who lived here must have felt the same. Yup. Huh. The sun sets so fast. I feel as if I turned away for a moment, it'll be dark in no time. Anis. Yeah. What were you going to say to me before on the bed? Oh, that. <laughs> Honey slowly gets out of her seat and comes towards me. She lowers her head and murmurs softly into my ear. 
Sneaky Mitsu. God dang it, no. It's a secret. You can't tell anyone. Of course. <laughs> Everyone must be worried. We should head back. Let's go. I think I'll leave this finished can of soda here. Honey's places the can on top of the table. Now the beer can doesn't have to face the sunset alone. Come here. Honey's offers me her hand. And I take it. I could get used to this. What was that? Uh, then nothing. Let's get going. Maybe it's the sunset, but Honey's face seems particularly red as she smiles brightly at me. My face must be the same color too. Anis and I managed to uncover some incredible treasures in the secret cave. We may well never see these treasures again, but one thing is for certain. It could never be exchanged for anything else, so great is its value, nor could it be compared to anything else. Uh, anyone else's canon is the fact that she was going to say I love you? That's my canon. That's exactly what I was going with. Oh, it's so annoying with this. Uh, it's so annoying when they do the freaking it's a secret. I mean, we arguably can surmise that's exactly what she said. Why they couldn't just have her actually say it out loud? Uh, that so sucks. But either way, that is Sparkling Summer Anis's Bond. And now... Does that make me want to pull more copies of her? Yes. Am I going to do that? No. Why? Because Helm... I still want to do one 10 shot for her. See if we can get her like we did Ani's. I would love that to happen. Two. I need to see what's coming out after the summer event. Yes, Ani's is a good character. She's really freaking good. Do I want more for her? Yes. Do I need more of her? Not really. Why? Because she's never going to be a mainstay on my actual main team. She would be a mainstay on my second team probably. But since my main team is literally set for basically until probably the end of the game where someone else becomes out that's way better than Scarlet, Modernia, Dorothy, Blonde in Noir. Like, unless there's someone else that th comes out that is better than all five of them combined, no one probably is going to be switching my main team units out for the main story. In which case, I am only building towards my second and my third teams. Now, do I need more copies of her? If I want her stronger, sure, but it's fine. I need to know who's coming out next after the summer event. Now, if Nier comes out, do I arguably care to summon for Nier characters? I still want to be, but I don't really care anymore. I can do without Nier characters. Mainly because of the characters that were mentioned that might actually become Nikkei's in the future from Chapter 24. So I'm kind of wanting to save for them. And the fact that the anniversary event will probably be a pilgrim. I'm going to want to save for the pilgrim as well because again, pilgrims are really great. Now I could just use my golden tickets on the Pilgrim for this anniversary event and call it a day. Because I'm never probably going to have enough gems and tickets like I did for Dorothy to keep on summoning till I basically get her to LB3. Albeit I did have to use 200 gold to get that last copy. But either way. One ten shot for Helm. If we get her then we get to enjoy the next story. Surprisingly enough this actually was not a spoiler. Obviously, it's just what a little adventure that we had in the event area of the event. 
though I will say this, it's killing me not knowing what's happening in the story right now. I really, really want to know. But I won't until hard mode is unlocked and the epilogue is out. Because I'm not going to have an overzone happen again. To where I get so invested into the story, I end up doing one and two. And then I had to wait five to six days until the epilogue comes out. I'm waiting until the very end. I do not care, but I will show everything of the event from the beginning to the end. Now, will it be longer than Overzone? Who knows? It could be shorter, it could be longer. I don't care, I will show everything in one episode for the event itself. I'm rambling now. So I thank guys so much for watching and see you guys the next one, which will be probably another bond. Just so I can keep getting gems and enjoy more of the characters. Or it could be blah actually you know what? This is all about summer bodies, right? Let's go do blah blah real quick. I keep forgetting to do this. Like I never actually show blah blah in any of the bond. But this is technically part of the, uh... This is... Biscuit, are you okay? Biscuit, uh... I, I, is Biscuit having a stroke? Um, okay, now now I'm kind of curious what's happening there, but I'm not doing it. This is about Anis. Oh, hey! The regular Anis has more story to blah blah. Come in, Jay. How'd it go? How'd work up? The lottery! Didn't you say you had good luck? You bought a lottery ticket, didn't you? Did you win the first prize? Can we finally afford a fridge for my sodas? I thought that's what the fridge in the commander's room was for. Huh? It is. I guess you're right. My soda does take up about 90% of that fridge. But that's not important. Don't change the subject. I want to know if you've won the lottery. Did you hit the jackpot? I never bought a ticket. Alright, come on. Why were you so obsessed about having good luck then? I was kinda jealous. I was kind of jealous because I thought she'd hit it big. I'm going to take part in the event organized by Coin Rush. OMG. The one where the winner gets a smooch from the one blonde. Wow, this is long, long ago. Why'd I just now get the message? So that's what, why you want Lady Luck on your side. T figures. I thought there'd be more to it than that. Well, good luck anyway. Actually, you know. I'll be happy with second place. Of course you'll be happy with second place because second place means I wouldn't actually get a smooch from them. I'll try. May fortune smile upon you and me. Here it is. Summer Ani is in the house. Commander, Ani is your profile picture. Hehe. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. The only reason I sent you a message was so that you'd see my swimsuit photo. At long last, I put on my, at long last, I put on my swimsuit. Mm -hmm. it looks really good too. You look good. I think so too. Not bad. If I say so myself. I was, I'm not sure you realize how devastated I was when I got separated from the rest of you. I can understand why you'd be upset at being apart from us. No. That was part of it, but not all. After all that preparation I did, and how much I built it up, I was so let down that I was never able to show you how I look in a swimsuit. Ah, I see. Eh. <laughs> so are you ready? Ready for what? To beat the heat, and spend a thrilling summer together with me. I'm more than ever... Ready ever? I'm more ready than ever. I've got my combat gear on, so I'm not scared of anything. 
Then shall we head straight to the pool? That'd be perfect. Let's go. Ah, I'm curious though. What kind of swimwear are you going for? A wetsuit? No, no. So, this normal swim trunks in. Come on, tell me. Uh, crap. Was it was it really revealing men's swimwear? I f I forget what it's called. Please give me the option to say that. You'll at least be going shirtless, won't you? Eh <laughs> Anis. Actually, sorry, but I suddenly feel like what I'm wearing isn't the way to go. Hmm. Then should have to pull next time. I've got to prepare, better prepare myself. I'll be in touch. Uh huh. You suddenly feel like what you're wearing isn't the way to go. Because I'll be going shirtless, huh? Hmm. You know? Is that a reference to her, you know, wearing a jacket? You know, the coat devil coming into play? Ruining everyone's fun? So, in terms of like SSR characters of the same person. It, it's the it, it it just goes off of the same profile. They don't have a different one. Man, this is a lot of girls that I've got. I gotta talk to. Is that is that you, moron? Really, drink? How dare you! Knock knock. Are you there? I'm scared. I'm scared. Mary's knocking on my door. There's milk, pal. Pal, are you? I'm asking thee. Servant, hello. Howdy. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no. I need one more Nikkei. I need one more Nikkei, then never pull on another Nikkei again. I'm so close to number 69. Wait, do I actually have almost 69 Nikkeis? Really? But hey, either way, I will say this. I'm really loving this game in terms of pulls. Like, I didn't in the beginning. But just the simple fact that we have gotten this many SSR characters in a gotcha game? I'm really surprised. Not to mention all the extra copies for the same characters. Ray, does, Ray, does, Ray doesn't count, seeing as how we got it for free. But either way, so, so many. I love this game, it's fun. <laughs> now, if only my Samaranis had enough power. Still missing that stupid chest piece. Wait, 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 hold on. Did I give Noise, uh, did I overload Noise's chest piece? Oh, no, I didn't. It was only a headpiece I overloaded for her. That's fine. But yeah, that was Anis. It was a fun, fun time talking to her. Now, Anis, what do you have to say to end things out? And I, uh, it, it's such a mighty need to want to pull for her again, but again, I'm not doing it. I need to cool my jets, wait for Helm. When I do my first 10 shot on her, I'm going to cry because I'm probably not going to get her. It's going to suck because she was the first unit I ever summoned for. And then I'm just going to move on until we see what's coming out next. In terms of Yon's swimsuit, we're at rank 6. When I do everything else, we're going to be rank 7. So, I mean, we're getting closer, but we still have to get to 15 for that. Rita is, I think, rank 3 right now, almost 4. Not spending 20 bucks on that, though. 
Probably not, Elias. I mean, Anis wants to go drinking, so yeah, either way, now I'll end things here. So I'll see you guys later.